Hey guys, this is Mr. Fuzzy Lego, and today I'm going to show you some figures you can see on Flickr. Um, anyway, I'm going to get through these customs quickly. Yeah, I'm going to start off with my new Deadpool. Um, you can see my old Deadpool, it's really dark, hang on. You can see my, uh, my old Deadpool only on my Flickr. You can just search Lego Fuzzy Pickles or Danny Casanova, I don't really know which one is which. But, um... The older one was based on a uh, comic book. This one is the movie version uh, from 2016. Um, well, that's good. You can see it a lot better now. I'm going to try to turn it around so you can see the arms. They're not my favorite part of the figure. I usually don't do backs because I'm lazy. Yeah, I think this one turned out really nice. Um, some things I kept were like the belt and the uh, some of the boots and shoes are the same. I worked the body just a little bit. Some of that stuff is new and some of it's not. Uh, I made custom pistols from these uh, Star Wars blasters. I, I am a noob and I don't know what these are called. But basically I cut off the scope, this back piece, and the ends of it so that it morphed into something like that. Yeah, they're a bit messy, but I'm way too lazy to buy some. So, Yep, that's uh, Deadpool. I even painted the handles of the katanas. Oh, yeah, I use my Jason Todd head, so, yeah. Uh, next, I'm going to show you Kirito from Sword Art Online. Uh, you can also see my first version on Flickr. Uh, it's the only bad thing about this is that the hair is already breaking. You can see that, that little crack right there. That's kind of unfortunate, but uh, you can see the legs there. I'll move the his sword out of the way as well so you can see. Um... This is an, the body and the legs are old, but I kind of remade it a bit. I outlined that thing and painted a belt buckle and remade some more hair because the other hair broke. Yeah, there's the side of the arms. Yeah. The hair's removable, but I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to try. Uh, yeah, there's a face on the back of it. That is uh, Kirito. Kirito is cool. I really like Kirito. Uh, next is uh, Batman from the Arkham Knight uh, Batman game. I gave him a batarang, so. Uh, people are telling me to remake the head, and I think I agree with them. It looks not the best, but. Yeah, I'll get the out of the way. Yeah. I originally wanted to make like a whole lineup for these figures for Arkham Knight, but I decided not to, and I just decided to just do Batman. So I'm going to put on the on my desk like I did my other figures. So I'm going to. Move the head out of the way, and do this. You can see a good view of the figure. There he is. You can see the boot design. Looks really nice. I like the clay right there. I painted it. There's the sides of it. There's this glossy cape, which I love, by the way. I don't know. I like gloss. It's nice. Sometimes I don't like gloss. Like The head is glossy, so I might give him a new head because it's just ugh. But that's the only black I have is the gloss black but that's okay with me uh, next is uh, Ninten from Earthbound Beginnings uh, Mother 1 uh, one of my favorite games of all time to be honest I am kind of uh, really like it um, I was going to record first because this bat is not removable it's a custom bat it's very wonky and quite frankly is very unstable and it will break so I'm not going to try to remove it. Let's see, I just broke it accidentally. I'm just by trying to move it down. There. So I used the handle of it is a katana blade, or the handle piece, like, uh, that. And then I just basically sculpted the bat onto it. But I'm going to remove it now, because I am, now that it's already broken, there's really no point to doing this. It's very, very bad. Uh, yes. So, oh. Uh, I don't. I didn't put a, sc uh, a scarf on it because I didn't really want to. But you can see the body now. You can see the head. I really like. The hat is made by the PSI Duck on Flickr. It's really nice. I think it matches the character really good. The uh, dropped him. There's the old body. Yeah, I used the old body design for this one. Originally, I had like a Mario cap on it, but then I was like, no, I like this one a lot better because uh, he gave it to me. The PSI ducky said I could have it, so that's why I have it on. I think it was originally supposed to be for Ness, but I don't like it on Ness. 
It looks a lot better on Nintendo. There's the you get 360 of the head. Bye. Okay, that's Nintendo. Uh, next is the Pokemon Sun and Moon trainer. Um, his hair is a bit low, but I kind of like it like that, to be honest. I got lazy, didn't do the backpack fully. I can see a Pokeball there. Uh, I used my old uh, Omega Ruby off a of Sapphire trainer. You can only see that on Flickr as well. Now there's the legs. There's the side of the legs. The other side of the legs. Yep, there's the cap too. I used my old Nint my old NES hat. You can see that also on Flickr. A lot of the stuff you'll see this is you can see on Flickr. I post my figures first on Flickr and then uh, YouTube. There's my thing where I post the figures, so I kind of you know, I'll put Nintin right here, and then I'll use this piece and I'll put it here, and then I'll turn it around like this. Da da, and I'll kind of put it into focus, and that's kind of what you see on Flickr. Yeah, that's what I do. Also, I made these uh, Portal 2 characters. Uh, there's, these are inspired by both uh, the Moose Figs, because I really liked what he did with why he tried to do a Gladys, so I trained myself. It's not the best, but I'm happy with it. Portal 2 is a really good game. I really like it, but obviously I like other games more. And that's not going to stand. Uh, these are the Portal 2 bots. These are inspired by both Demon Grady 15 and some of my old old design. Uh, for instance, the portal gun. The portal guns are his uh, Demon Grady 15's idea. They're really good, actually, but I think I did an okay job portraying them myself. Here's Peabody. Uh, it looks really weird, but I don't care. Yep, that's all the stuff I wanted to show you. Right now, I'm going to show you some work in progress stuff real quickly. Just like always, I want to show you some stuff. Um, glance over it because I really don't want to show anything specifically. Yep. Alright, that's, that's it. Say goodbye!